Elisa O'Keefe Smith here for the Diva Docs, and I have with me my wonderful friend, and he is a friend because I have interviewed him several times on the radio show, and that is Teron Brooks, actor and singer. Teron, how are you? How are you doing? I am really, really, really well. So, uh, what I want to say to you to start with is what a pleasure, privilege, what an honor it is to speak with you. Oh. Yes, just just such an honor. I'm We're so like-minded. We got the same energy and thoughts about life. Uh, for those who don't know, Teron played in the wonderful Temptations movie, Eddie Kendricks. And uh, I know it is one of my favorite movies of all time and I know many people who hold it in their favorite movies. What has been your feedback and what has that done for your career, do people still recognize you from that? I mean, I think the movie is about 17 years old. Yes. And I get recognized almost every day. Definitely. And it's been profound for my life. I guess in one respect, I thought it would bring me maybe more success. But, it, 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 but just the appreciation yes. for my, my work and the work of the film right. has overwhelmed mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. And um, people's hearts, they really were moved. And that's any artist wants exactly. to, not just, you know, want to be famous or, uh -huh. You, you want to move somebody exactly. and make them feel, especially for someone, because Eddie was a real person, yes, he was. that they can get a mm -hmm. glimpse of what was mm -hmm. going on at that time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm completely overwhelmed and honored, and uh, it's part of history. Exactly, And it so is. I'm just like, wow, I got exactly. to play one of the icons of mm -hmm. all time, and mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a continual blessing to keep giving. Um, we were committed. We had to be committed uh -huh. to not just fake it, to make it real. Right, From right. the dancing, to the singing, uh -huh. to, the, to the acting, to the time period. And a lot of people that were involved, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Shelly, Shelly Berger right. is the Temptations manager. Wow. He was involved. Wow. And of course, Otis was involved. Right. And I met Smokey Robinson. Wow. So nice. the, the history, people who actually knew the Temptations uh -huh. and not just based on a book, you know, right, right. people knew and it, it just had to be right. And did and, you film it in Detroit? No, we filmed it in Pittsburgh. And they recreated the uh, Hitsville and everything. Your music is just phenomenal. I know you've had recent music out. How many albums have you had out? And what is perhaps your favorite track that you've done? And oh what have you got my coming up? Goodness, yeah, I have about five records, but I've been very secretive, I guess. Uh -huh. There's only one record right now that's on iTunes. Oh, really? And um, I, a lot of the older stuff, just because whatever represents me now, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I want it to be shown on iTunes right, right now. Right. Um, and you're asking about my favorite song. I, God, I have many favorite songs, I guess. Really? One of my favorite songs is called Moment in Your Life. Oh, yes, that, I know that one. And that's yes, on yes. my new record yes. it's called Contagious mm -hmm. Deluxe. Yes, yes I iTunes. like that one. And I just think I wrote a song saying that life is hard. Right. And uh, But it's just a moment in your life compared to your whole life. And I think mm -hmm. sometimes we fixate mm -hmm. on what's going wrong in our life. And right. then that becomes so overwhelming, we cannot appreciate anything that's good in our life. Exactly. And usually when you think about bad things happen, it, it, there's a period of time. Uh -huh. And then it maybe kind of goes away and then you have Definitely. a better part of mm -hmm. your life. So I wanted to write a song, anything that I write is real. Right. What's really mm -hmm. going on, mm -hmm. what, what people are really, really feeling. What are your feelings about Black Lives Matter? and the racial profiling that's going on uh, with the police. What are your feelings and how do you feel the uh, current energy is about this? I think, uh, it's, I'll be honest, it's frightening. It is, it is. I have a son, he's eight uh -huh. years old, mm -hmm. and it's just frightening. It's, mm -hmm. it's, no mm -hmm. one's trying to uh, be a martyr and say black people and look at us and exactly. feel sorry for us or anything like uh -huh. that. But if you step in someone's shoes, and I think that's a mm -hmm. hard part for mm -hmm. some people to do. Everyone wants to be defensive. Right. But if you really have to step in someone's shoes uh, and, and mm -hmm. be empathetic about right. how they feel. And right. I think that's another problem. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to like just support their own views yes. without just listening. The, the laws have to change. Exactly. That, that, there's nothing we can do without the laws in each state changing. Yes, they do. And they people, do need to change and people need to be held accountable. And what's happening is people aren't being held accountable. No. Um, uh, you know, and there also needs to be people of uh, discussion is the first thing that needs to happen because yeah. without discussion, people don't pay attention. Right. So um, discussion, discuss, discuss, talk about it, talk about it because the more people discuss, the more people become aware. Yeah. Um, I, I also think it's important for people who look like me mm. to discuss it yes, because yes, yes, yes. Um, you've got a lot. Uh, 
and maybe it's easier for me to discuss because I, I married a black man, I have a biracial child, right. and so black lives do matter Matthew. to me. Anyone who is unfairly treated, that impacts me. Yeah. So, and I try to discuss from my platforms, uh, I try to bring up discussion yeah. about issues that need to be talked about. Yeah. I learn so much, uh -huh. you know, and I think it's like, Whatever we learn, you're supposed to teach. Yes, you know? yes. You help others go surpass what you maybe definitely uh, done. And definitely. So, like a lot of my life, my greatest success is not necessarily what I've done mm -hmm, or where I've gone mm -hmm. or who I've met. It's the lives that I've touched or impact or the, the, the seeds that I've deposited in people. I love it. Love um, it. And, and in truth. Exactly. Right? Because exactly. people just want to know the truth. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't mean or aim to hurt anybody's feelings or anything right. like that, but there's a way to tell the truth in love. And the truth right. is so powerful. It, it can is. change the course of your life. It is. To, to, to reroute you to where you're supposed to go. It is. I want to impact people to raise level of consciousness. I want to make people think. Sometimes I don't mind shocking people. I'm not afraid to shock yeah. them. I'm <laughs> one of those people. But I want to make people think. I want to raise their level of consciousness. I want to challenge the status yeah. quo because the status quo needs to be changed. Completely. Yes. And and so when we address in public forums issues of social concern, issues that are controversial, mm -hmm. um, issues that people don't want to talk about, that raises people's consciousness. Yes, yeah. And uh, it at least gives them pause to think, to think whether you change it. their whether I change their feelings about yes, things or not yeah. I've given them pause to think yeah. mm. we're kind of finding out as Americans right. that we're not what we thought mm. we were or yeah. we're not uh -huh. what we say we were right. and that could be scary mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. just more like thought raising hey, exactly if we want to be who we're saying we exactly. are how do we change that it's not exactly. too late you no know it's what I mean? not it's but not. i mm -hmm. believe that's what's happening in america right now right. there's just like a ignorance is bliss right we don't know mm -hmm. but now everything is uncovered we're seeing what's going exactly. on and we have to make a decision as americans as people exactly you know, uh, not just americans but as people exactly. who are we you Ex know who are we and all this yeah. all this um racial tension that's building up again yeah. um it's saying something. Um, it needs to be addressed yeah. and people need to talk about it. Yeah. The president, um, you know, views have changed, but some views in some places have not. You know, I only know what I'm seeing and I see inequity. Yeah. I see unfairness. And, uh, you know, I don't want my daughter to face that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I want her to be even kill with everyone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To start out fairly. Yeah. Um, yourself. I know you've got you've got children, yeah. and how do you feel about that? And what do you tell your children? Oh, they're, they're young, but I, I, mm -hmm. I, you know, I encourage them that they right. can be anything, that they're beautiful, mm -hmm. that they're mm -hmm. amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 I don't want to shield them from the truth, exactly. you know, and I don't want to make them afraid. Right. Um, and so what I have to tell my son is that you know, don't be afraid, but be aware. Be aware. Have your eyes open. Exactly. You know? So what I want to say is. Thank you, Tehran, for coming on. Thank you so much. Again, too. it's been a pleasure and a privilege, and I'm so glad I've met you, you in person yeah, yeah, after yeah. interviewing you many times yeah. on the radio. Um, again, uh, Divadox, Tehran Brooks, wonderfully talented actor, singer, writer, and go find him on the web. Keep Tehran watching Brooks her show. TV. Keep watching the show. Yes, yes, now we have <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> David Ox Web TV talk show and yeah. Tehran will be on season two. So please watch it. And it's uh, David Ox and Tehran Brooks over and out. Bye, Ciao. everybody. Bye.